Hello everyone, this is Thomas Holdridge and this is going to be the day five and day six uh, training session and their day uh, five is going to be creating, taking those three articles that you have wrote earlier and we're going to post them to these other Web 2.0 properties like Angel Fire, Multiply, Posterius, blog and just keep in mind we're just we're doing the same method you're taking the keyword that you have and you know keyword and when we're creating the properties just make sure just like you did on day four uh training class so we're just going to use these two and we're going to post all three of those articles that you have wrote uh so all these are pretty much self-explanatory so you I'm not going to go into too much uh, details on that, but I'm going to more focus on something that most people are having problems, and that is uh, article writing. So before I talk about how to rewrite the articles, uh, one, two, and three, we're just going to talk about how to just write articles in general. Now, I kind of touched on this uh, briefly in the previous training classes, but what I'm going to do is show you... Uh, more in depth of how to properly do a uh, an article. So, like I said, this should uh, each article should not take you no more than thirty minutes initially, and then depending on your typing speed, you could literally get it down to uh, fifteen minutes. Well, in fact, when I was doing this very um, very well, I would typically write a three hundred word article in about 15 minutes. And the way you do that is you just gotta wrap your brain around how to uh, organize things in a proper format. And the way I did it is using um, this type of method. You know, you ju just keep in your main keyword, in your long tail that you wanna focus on, make an introduction. And with the introduction, you're gonna talk about these three main points. And then, each of the paragraphs, you're going to elaborate uh, some sub points to support your main point. And then finally, you're going to follow up, review what you discussed in these three main points and have some type of conclusion. And then you're going to have backlink back to your um, back to your site. Now, to prove to you what I'm, how easy and simple it is, what I'm going to do is attempt to write an article that I really don't have no knowledge about. So, uh, just randomly thinking, I'm just going to go ahead and write about, um, my main keyword would be uh, acid reflux. So I'm going to take this keyword, put it in here, I'm going to use the Google, okay, there we go, I'm going to type in the keyword, acid, reflux, and check that for me. Alright, so here's the results for acid reflux disease. Uh, so what I do is I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to see some um, some related searches. Remember I told you that these are some some of the things that, um, that this is the, something that's very important when you're doing your keyword research to look at some of, some of the, the related terms. So just to make it simpler, I might be able to use this and incorporate this into my some of my uh, points. So let's see if I can focus more. Okay. So let's go over. Uh, I think this one might be easier. Acid reflux. Foods to avoid. So on my introduction, could talk about the acid reflux disease foods to avoid. So let's go ahead and expand upon it. And let's see what probably what we can do is uh, 
is to probably, I'm thinking, break down each of the foods. So now I'm going to take that and I'm going to go to easing articles. So I can get some articles that have been written about this particular topic. And I'm just going to use that. I'm going to copy assets with foods to avoid. Copy this because we might need this for the introduction. Alright, let's go over here. Common foods to avoid. I'm going to just rewrite it, avoid these common foods. Okay, next up, we'll, we'll put like uh, fried or Instead of say grease, we'll just say greasy, fatty, and we'll say minty. Okay. Okay, so that's a common food. So let's think about okay, beverages. And we'll say Drinks that causes acid reflux. Okay, and we'll put coffee, which is caffeinated. Alcohol. And there's probably going to be another one. Uh, we can just say just say tea. If I look at it, okay. Uh, let's see. No, let's just go back to another one. Okay, it's not a good one. Let's see if I can find another one. Okay, so these are some of the solutions of, uh, to prevent. So I need to look at what foods to avoid. Okay, foods to avoid. Hmm, I'll say it's saying spicy. Okay, I just read over here dairy, so dairy is not a good one. Okay, so we can replace that. Um, okay, so we're going to look at um, see something about spaghetti, tomato sauce. Okay, types. Vegetables. Okay, that's vegetables. I think I spelled that wrong. And like acid. So once I have my outline like this, it just makes it really easier for me to go ahead and, and write an article. 
like this. So this is this is going to be like your skeleton to write it. So as I look at this, I have a clear plan and an action on how to do it. So all I got to do is expand a little more. Or I could just use my brain and 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 use some of my experiences to know w why these foods should. So, like saying, avoid these common foods, so that to ensure that you will not get acid reflux. Okay, so. And I could just expand, like greasy food. What's a greasy food? Uh, French fries, fried chicken, fatty foods, um, butter, uh, oils, minty, peppermint. And I could just expand caffeinated drinks. Stop drinking soda. See, I, I'm just typing it over here so you guys can understand, but I could literally write sentences upon sentences uh, for each of these subtopics. Now, ideally, what you want to do is going to my article writing tips. So, you will need an article between 400 to 600 words long. So, you to have 8 to 10 paragraphs. Now, each of these paragraphs are going to have three to five senses a piece. But when you have break it out into this, um, to these subtopics, you can see you can easily get um, three to five senses for each of these uh, paragraphs. Okay, so so follow these guides uh, and this outline, and you will surely be able to uh, create an article. In less than 30 minutes and faster once you get your mind wrapped up on it and and your typing speed will increase so if you got any questions come and ask it on the group chat and hope everyone has a good day